Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to draw an isometric L shape like this. So the first thing you need to get is a ruler and a pencil, okay? And you're going to line it up down the edge of the page, uh, which is something that I like to do so that I got a perfect horizontal line like so. I want you guys to draw lightly. Um, because these are construction lines. I am just pressing harder so that you can see my outlines a bit more, uh, a bit better. Um, okay, so next thing you're going to do is get a set square. Lean this against that horizontal line that you've just drawn. And then you draw a vertical line like so. Okay. Then from that point, you will need to draw the parallel lines. So the parallel lines are ones that are going slightly diag um, diagonal angle. And what you should be aiming for is a 30 degree angle. So with that in mind, the set square here, that angle is a 30 degree angle. So then you just switch it around like this from that point to join up the rest of your drawing like so. And draw your other parallel lines and these are obviously 30 degree angle okay right now for an L shape you need to have one section here to draw the back of that L shape so I'm going to get a ruler just to measure it out and I want to create a two centimeter width of that so I'm measuring from this point to this point then you get your set square again Line it up against this horizontal line, up to where you made that mark, and hold it down so your ruler doesn't move, and you draw your next vertical line, like so, okay? Right, so we've done the back of that L shape, now we need to do this side of the L shape, okay? So with that in mind, I need to have two vertical lines. So again, I'm going to get my ruler, just measure it out from this point here of um, two centimeters long. Okay. And then get my set square, lean it against that horizontal line that you've drawn out. And then you draw your vertical line like so. Okay. Now I need to do that extension of that part of the L shape that comes out. So with that in mind, I'm going to just have a look how far out that I want that L shape. So maybe around this point here. So if that's where I want to have it, then I'm just going to measure two centimeters from this line to this point here. And that should measure out two centimeters reason why I want two centimeters because um, these are two centimeters wide. This is two centimeters wide. So I want this to be two centimeters wide. So it looks even. And then I'm going to get my set square. And obviously you will need to, I uh, almost forgot, just another measurement from here. So this line here should measure out two centimeters to this line there. Then you get your set square. And you join that up together like so. Okay. Right, so two centimeters, two centimeters done. Then you need to have a vertical line that goes down from that point, which I'm going to use my set square again, line it up against that horizontal line at the bottom. And then you've got um, that side of the L, but the inside of that L shape, because it's 3D, we need to add that shape in, okay? So in order to do that, you will then again use a ruler, measure out from this point another two centimeters, like so. And then as well, this point, I want you to measure out another two centimeters like so, okay? And then you will just get your set square and join that line. Remember to draw lightly, okay? Now we don't want that line to go on forever. We need to close it, okay?
okay and in order to close it you need to use another parallel line but it can't be the parallel line that's facing in that same direction it needs to be this side of the parallel line so if it's anything from this side i need to make sure it's parallel to this line that i've drawn in so far so what i'm going to do is move this along using my ruler line it up against this bottom horizontal line so that i've got a nice even sh uh, shape here and then I slowly move up in equal distance like this and then once I reach that point I join it up like so so I'll just show you that one more time equal distance line it up with this horizontal line here and then move up and it should be equal distance and then you draw your line in okay and the same rules applies at the top which um, is the same how you do your isometric drawing, okay? So I'm going to measure out 10 centimeters from this point. And then from this point, I'm gonna measure another 10 centimeters, which just so happens to be perfectly there. And again, from this point, from that line, okay? you draw your 10 centimeters up okay i'm going to extend this vertical line for another reason which i'm going to explain in just a moment okay so now that that's done you then join them up like this and this line is parallel to this this line is parallel to this because i've done my measurements accurately and then obviously the next part is to close this shape up and i want to make sure that the meeting points on this vertical line rather than it being on here or here because then it won't be accurate so again i'm just going to use my um, marks in terms of making sure that it is parallel okay and i just move this along do you see so it's here and move it along on the ruler and then you've got the same parallel line, okay? And then you switch it around, okay? Make sure it lines up with that line that you've just drawn in, okay? And then just move it along until it meets that point. So just move this a little bit back and just make sure it joins up, okay? And that's your L shape and you just get a pencil, just go over it, press hard so that it creates that final result.